Aussie Attack guy. I know he had like all those YouTube shorts that he was putting out. Um, Atomic, uh, can't oh, say yeah. he's anymore. He's definitely like at the top of the region now. Um, yeah. I think he's like a consistent top three, if you know, if not that top five player every season. Three, out of region threat two, too. Yeah. Oh yeah. One, Play can huge go. out of region threat, and so that's crazy. Seeing Hippo kind of handle Atomic that first time around was a little, a little jarring, if I'm being totally honest. I know they're kind of from like the same type of woods. Like they played a lot down in Arlington, so I think this is like you know friend versus friend. So you know a bit more than just matchup. They have like personal data on each other. Um, but I know Atomic, you know he has that hunger to get three inside him. I think he'll definitely have some fire. I would like to see a different play, but I mean, let, let's be honest, when, when Hippo's doing crazy stuff, I mean, not a lot of people are biggest fans of Kazuya, but like, it's sick, dude. I gotta be honest, it's absolutely sick to watch him bomb off. I'm gonna be honest, you're the first person I've met that said that. I'm a fighting game lover, man. I, I, I love fighting games. I know people in Smash don't like them to see characters. It's hype. I'm down. I, I, love, I love that music character, honestly. I just, I, I just think, okay, the re I guess like, this, the reason being is, is Hippo is the guy who does all these texts, he finds all these different combo routes, and tries to use all the moves of the character, even though the try to do, you know, the double pistons or whatever. Electric. I think we're seeing a fountain play a lot more of a good of basic game. He's got quite the move on him so far. Bird, Bird definitely mentioned that as well. Earlier. Yeah, um, I think when he was kind of starting off playing, he was more of a defensive player, but over time he's definitely like, uh, he does the uh, I think he has a goal. I don't think he's had his in the game this, this game. Got to focus up for game two. I was going to say, you see the bottom corner there, that gamer lean. Hippo is zeroed in here. That is, I think, I think you did just call it out. That was three confirms in a row he missed to kill, to just take one stop from Atomic, finally getting in here. Honestly, I mean, this game's winnable. He definitely can. Like, I think he's focused up, you know, he's ready to play, but he is at a deficit. Atomic is keeping him out. When you play a character that is, I mean, it, it is Kazuya ass, not an FGC character, per se, but somebody you know that is going to hit you in plus off of literally every single interaction. What's your idea? Like, what's your approach? I mean, obviously we're witnessing what Atomic is doing, but like, personally, what do you do? I think really what you have to do is you have to mix up your uh, card zoning with, uh, you know, kind of burst aggression. Because, uh, you know, once you start the card zoning, you can try to like, overshoot, maybe a dash back or something like that. And then when you actually come in with the, you know, aggressive burst option, you'll hit them and you'll hit the card. Especially, like, if they were expecting the defensive option. Yeah, and then it's kind of like, it's almost exactly to a T, the way we just saw Atomic play that that whole first match. I mean, that burst at the very end right there, he's up two stocks, he knows he can get away with it all, and I mean, might as well send it. Like, what's the worst that can happen? He takes one, and the snowball may happen, but I don't think Atomic is gonna let the snowball happen in, in this game one. I think game two is gonna be a lot different in the Hollow Bastion game. What do you think the, the, the mentality is behind this? Mm, he definitely wants a smaller stage. Uh, I think the middle platform makes it a bit easier for Kazu to play under that. Uh, I know he has a lot of platform confirms when he gets the electric under it. He can get kill. Uh, I think he just wants to kind of slow it down. I think whoever takes the first shot in this matchup will definitely be like, very momentum heavy. I think either way, I want to say I thought he was. At, at I thought he was at like 60 when he got hit. No, it was like 90. When, when the up smash finally went off, it was 90. Okay, he should die there. Yeah. 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 Well, like he was 90. That's off the top. I thought Halabash kind of has like a high ceiling. I don't know. I, I feel like most of the stages have a pretty similar size. I don't know if you ever saw they had like a tour of red. Ah. Not too long ago where they discussed like all the stages in Smash. And like, man, most of these last ones are just like the same. Right. Yeah, ex I mean, except for Kalos. Kalos yeah. is very obviously different. Sides are very short, ceiling very, very tall. But I guess you are right, too, like in that idea, the, the approach here is that, that solid moving, that solid platform in the middle allows for a lot of other adaptive plays. And I guess that's why I don't see a lot of people going to Smash for this more. I haven't seen Smash for a while. I don't feel like most people don't really play there. Um, I'm sure Apollo has like some different uh, effects. Um, I feel like the stage is about the same. Extra credit. I mean, 
we're almost stock matching with one whole point in the lead there. I cannot believe Atomic just boosted this far forward and then like just almost like ran this far ahead in this singular game. I was expecting it to be much, much closer, but we're looking at Atomic almost on match point. Yeah, and he's keeping Nico at the top. He ran away with that last stock. I don't think he was hit. I do know, yeah, he moved from he moved from 89 to 106. Mm. So it might have been one solid hit. I think you see Hippo thinking in the camera here. He knows he's down two games. He's like, all right. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Uh, I know he plays Roy, but I feel like I feel like Kazuya is his best, and I feel like he would also say Kazuya is his best. So I think definitely no shame in staying with that. I wonder here. I mean, genuinely, genuinely, like, I know Kazuki is a solid, like, a solid character when it comes to just sheer kill power. But we all, I mean, DFW was the region of Rob's, and then it moved to the region of Steve's. I dare say it's still the region of Rob's. Oh, really? Rob's the Kazuki, I think that's kind of what it's not. And then we have the errant, you know, Beastly, yeah, our number one player is Diddy Kong. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I feel like that character is just that crazy. He wins everything. It's one of those things, it's one of those interactions of like, I think a character with an item in a game like this, in a game full of no items competitively, just has a, a very good edge. And that's why we see Rob do so well, is we are all terrified of Gyro. We are, it's so hard to work around it if you don't have a character that has an item. I don't even think back because everyone can pick up the gyro and you can use it against Rob, but it's really just about knowing like how how you can use that gyro and what you can do with it. Fair. Um, okay. One thing I'm seeing different in this game, I think, Nico has definitely been able to slow it down. I think he has the biggest lead that he's had so far in the set. If he can get a stock right here while still at this white person, I think he'll be in a great spot to take this game. I, I think what he's looking for too is that one touch in the up. He's looking for his kill. It just, his, his kill move per se, rather than his opening. I think he's kind of trying to force it right now. I don't feel like, like, the slowing down is right, but I feel like he's still just like, okay, I'm just gonna wait for that one thing, and then I can nail it. When I say slowing down, I'm more so trying to like, slow down. Bravo Bear. <laughs> Bravo Bear. We love Rob. <laughs> so true. And I mean, like, like you said, slowing down is, is a good like, notation to Hippo's gameplay, but I feel I feel too much has happened, and I feel like maybe the decision making has only been narrow minded, or maybe just very linear, rather than again, like he has the ability to get this kill, and he's just not. Also, I learned from saying that in Rage Drive, other moves actually do more damage. There's more percent added to kind of the common moves. For Kazuya. Yeah, that's what. That's no, for Kazuya. Oh, he side beat, I think. Yeah. I think Atomic just started off with such a great momentum. 